Hello everyone and welcome back to the Brothers Play once again for the first time in 2016. It's probably been about a month maybe since you've seen a video from us. Uh, we had a ridiculously busy December, there was just stuff going on all the time. I would be away for a while, Jotham was away for a while and they just didn't link up at all so we didn't really have a chance to film any any videos that way with just the two of us. Okay, so with it being a new year and all, I thought one of the best, most, I don't know, I guess appropriate things to talk about would be New Year's resolutions. Hashtag New Year New Me. So that seems to be the thing that people are using this year to kind of motivate themselves, I guess, as well as the usual New Year's resolutions. And look, cool hashtag to get behind. I'm sure for some people it works, but I know for myself, New Year New Me, I, it's, it's a good little catchy title, but New Year's resolutions, I think, they're hard to try to stick with for an entire year. I've gone around and asked people what their resolutions are, you know, you have all the typical I'm going to eat healthier, going to exercise more, going to be healthier, going to work harder, going to go to the gym, yada yada yada. A lot of those I don't think are very successful because they're too broad, they're too, too ambiguous. That's the right word. Okay, so define... Ambiguous. That Urban Dictionary is pretty, pretty reliable source. Ambiguous. Let's have a look what else they have for it. Afraid to confront person or situation with how they actually feel. Bam, nailed it. Ready for the YouTube big leagues with this one. Um, yeah, I think ambiguous. That's the right one. So break it down into, I guess, smaller goals that are probably easier for you to keep. Um, so rather than just start. I'm going to join the gym and get fit this year. You want to say, okay, this this month, this week, I want to run 50k. Is the best way to do it, and to be able to tell if you're actually working towards it, is to try and track it. So break it down, like into monthly targets, weekly goals, even. So weekly resolutions, monthly resolutions. So for example, I'm going to eat healthy this year. Could be I'm going to have one. Make it one dessert a week or two desserts a week, mark that off, and every time you do that you can count it down until you're eating less chocolate, less of this, drinking less, etc. Now, my own personal resolution, this year is going to be about productivity. So, I think last year, I don't know, it wasn't a fantastic year, I've heard from many people it wasn't a fantastic year for them, but there was a lot of things that didn't really go my way, should we say. And this year I think I'm going to try and make up for that, hence why I guess I'll be starting hopefully at least a weekly vlog. I mean, I'm targeting for more than once per week, but just depending on work, study, how that sort of stuff goes. Try and get some... get to know the camera better again, get some um, familiarity going. Hopefully I'll have something more interesting to talk about than just what I had for breakfast, or whether I went to bowel movements, that sort of thing. Um, Hopefully it'd be a bit more exciting than that. I had toast for breakfast this morning, but I actually burnt it. It was, it was pretty solid. There's a few games coming out this year that I'm looking forward to. Um, XCOM 2 probably being one of the more... One of the ones coming up a bit more recently. I also got a Wii U over Christmas, which is pretty, pretty darn exciting. That means a little bit more content variety, as I feel like I'm getting a bit more back into gaming, I guess, going back to the old colourful Nintendo game sort of things. I think I was just... There's a little bit too much on PC and console of just, I don't know, intense RPGs, action shooters, got a little bit too samey. I mean, like, sure, The Witcher 3 and stuff like that are great games, but they are very, very heavy content-wise. They require, like, tens of hundreds of hours of investment. Tens of hours and hundreds of hours, not tens of hours. Jotham and I, I think, are going to do a top five, top ten games of 2015. So that should be interesting to look at. That'll be sort of a send off to 2015 and the content we made there. Anyway, sidetracking. Welcome back to the Brothers Play. We hope you will enjoy what we're going to have in 2016. I should be starting a one man playthrough soon of something exciting, hopefully. Um, I have a couple of games in mind. Should be up a little bit later on this week. And good to see you all again. Um, if you just managed to find this, I don't know how you may have found it through. Clever tags that I'm putting out on, like hashtag New Year, New Me, that sort of stuff. Welcome and hang around. Maybe, maybe you'll like what we have coming up for the rest of the year. You will see more content from us very soon. And it's good to be back. New Year. Let's see where it goes. Cheerio.